So that was me way back when. I have to laugh when I think of myself now in comparison to then. Back when life was predictable, results delightfully repeatable. Familiar breakfast, lunch, and dinner so very eatable <laughs> because I had seen it all before. I was working in the trenches. My machines were free of monkey wrenches. <laughs> I clocked in and I clocked out. I got plenty of rest and I went occasionally out. Life wasn't particularly up or very deep down. That is, until crazy came to town. <laughs> crazy didn't look all that crazy at first, and there had been no prior indication that I was dying of thirst. I felt fine, and I'd always had an open mind, so I took a sip. I took a sip of that crazy wine. A few lunches turned into dinner, and that turned into an actual date. The county fair was in Hamburg town, and that's open late, so after a long day of work, we made our way past the carnival games and all that silly shite until what stood before us was a rather intimidating sight. The Achterbahn, or roller coaster in the English speak with its creaky old tracks and its loop-de-loop -loop peaks. Of course, crazy likes roller coasters. <laughs> and of course, I do not. I keep my feet firmly planted on the ground. I like that a lot. But crazy said, two tickets, please, and she plunked down the cash. And we sat down in the plastic coaster car, and my face turned to ash. <laughs> we built up quite a bit of potential energy on the way to the top. This is so not me, I shouted. <laughs> and then we dropped like a rock. But at the bottom, there was neither death nor destruction. There was speed, excitement, and flair. Wind literally blowing through my soon-to-be metaphorical hair. <laughs> the only destruction was the clearing away of old fears and the clearing away of feared thought. I was jazzed by the ride. And so when Crazy said, let's go on this, I said, why not? <laughs> now this was a very bad idea. <laughs> that's not a ride, that's insanity. <laughs> Far beyond my amusement park capability. To put it mildly, that was crazy, and that was me. <laughs> there was spinning and swirling, upside downing and whirling. It lasted for like 20 minutes or maybe two, and it flung me so far out of my comfort zone that all I could do was sit on the stairs and try and keep from hurling, <laughs> while crazy sat next to me patiently, telling me that I wasn't being girly. But I was thoroughly kaput, and I had to go home. Crazy said, I'll go with you, with a hint of delight. And a cab picked us up and took us into the night. When I woke up the next day, my life had changed, although I didn't know it at the time. I had opened the door and let Crazy inside. And that was the beginning of a very interesting ride. At first, it wasn't all that easy. We did all these things that were interesting but not always very pleasing. It became clear to me that Crazy dances to a different song. Crazy does things differently, which of course is a euphemism for wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, bike rides weren't for riding bikes. They were merely a means to a swim. And swimming wasn't just dipping our toes, we actually had to go in. And how about this? Let's cook and cook and cook and use every dish, and then when it's time to clean up, we'll just make them clean-ish. <laughs> <laughs> and we should travel. We should travel. But not for a day or a week, like I've done my whole life. Oh, no. We should go for at least a month. Bring your own fork and a big old knife to hack through the jungle. Sleep in a shack in a bed full of bugs. But don't worry, we'll probably make it back. <laughs> Crazy said, what if you eat a bell pepper just plain, or bought a folding bike and rode it in the rain? How about swimming in the nude, or cooking up some raw food? 
<laughs> and did you know that frozen pizza is crap? And that the reason it hurts when you run is because you're running too fast? <laughs> and it turns out that not everyone likes being called dude. In fact, some of us find it quite rude. <laughs> Let's do some expensive freelance. Let's learn to swing dance. Let's learn German. <laughs> Crazy said, everything's great, but could be greater still. Crazy said, maybe you shouldn't eat toast for every meal. Crazy said, let's make some plans, and then let's change the plans, and then let's plan for change. The living room, rearrange. Hiking, yes, but only if it's extremely dange. I said, let's make some coffee. And Crazy said, let's cold brew some coffee to sell. Hmm. I said, hey, Crazy, how about we get married and we have like a nice regular wedding? And she said, no way in hell. <laughs> yes. With Crazy, each day is full. And it's usually pretty scary, but at least it's never dull. But the thing is, when I lay my head on the pillow each night, I can't help but think, but among all of that wrong, is a little bit of right. We went to Malaysia on one of those weirdo bike rides, and we drank from fresh coconuts right there on the roadside. And for the second time in my life, I learned how to swim, only this time it's stuck. So now I can breaststroke with the best of them, and that doesn't suck. <laughs> now there are train rides to catch plane flights on both sides of long nights, online calendars to tell me what's next. Yeah, we've made digital appointments for good old analog sex. <laughs> now there's all these new things on the things we've done shelf. And along the way, I've learned quite a bit about myself. Because when you marry crazy, you actually marry two. Crazy and a whole new you. Crazy also showed me what I bring to the party. A little bit of grounding to go with her arty. A little bit of focus to really get things finished. Just because crazy is all loud and crazy doesn't mean that I have to feel diminished. And it's okay to get lost and forget who I be because crazy loves my personalities different and me unconditionally. So if there's a moral to this story, then maybe it's this. I stepped out of my box and I still exist. There are things in this world that I used to fear and I'd make snarky remarks with a cynical sneer, but not so much anymore now that there's a little crazy. I'm doing things now that I didn't know were possible. And all that other stuff was just me being lazy. And I'm not a gambling man, but I'll bet that there are things you can do. You just don't know it yet. So ask yourself, where in your world can the crazy be found? Are your eyes open wide? Are you looking around? Because I don't want to be the guy to tell you how to live your lives. But if I may be so bold as to give some advice, it would be Marry crazy. Marry crazy and get your life stirred and shaken. But please, find your own because my crazy's taken. <laughs> <laughs>